Hey everyone, Karnak, Star Wars Armada Explained. We're going to be looking at the other Hammerhead Task Force title, Task Force Antilles. So Task Force Antilles, how do you know this equips the Hammerhead? It was Hammerhead on the card. Bottom left-hand corner of the card, you also see the Hammerhead icon. It is faction-specific for the Rebel Alliance. This title costs three points. Now, I, there's so much text on this, I know you probably can't read it up in the top left, so I'm going to pull it up here on the wiki. So you can actually, you know, try to read it a little bit better here. It reads, when you suffer damage from an attack, you may choose an exhaust, a copy of this card on another friendly ship at distance one to three. If you do, that ship suffers one damage or suffers one of your damage instead. While this card is exhausted, you cannot spend engineering points. So, it does have an FAQ as well. It states, when resolving this card's effect, you cannot choose and exhaust more than one copy of this card. Uh, they are saying, you know, when exhausting this card, you can only exhaust it once. You can't exhaust multiples. So, how does this card work? Well, whenever your hammerhead is attacked, is when the opportunity of this card can be triggered. Now, remember, when... Triggering for this card effect, it said that you need to be at distance 1 to 3 from another ship that has this title. So, you know, you don't want to bring just one hammerhead with this title because you're not going to get any benefit from it. You need at least one other ship. And when measuring distance, remember that black is distance 1, red here is distance 2, and this orange band represents distance 3. When measuring the distance, you do not need to measure from cardboard to cardboard. Rather, you measure from the base plastic piece of the ship to the base plastic piece of the other ship because this is not an attack. Uh, you do not measure to or from the shield dials or the plastic framing of the shield dials. It has to be the physical plastic base itself. Uh, so, like, for example, this ship here on the left, um, you can see there it is just barely at distance 3 with the plastic base. And, for example, like, this ship, you know, is, like, barely outside of distance 3, so it wouldn't count. But we're going to put both of these ships, you know, at distance 3 here. So, let's walk through the attack stuff. We'll say that this, uh, this hammerhead has meandered into long-range... Um, of a Star Destroyer. And let's say that this Star Destroyer is throwing four red dice into his front at long range. So let's roll the uh, four red die. And uh, wow, so that is... <laughs> that's an extremely good roll against the Hammerhead. Why? Well, the accuracy, you lock down the evade. You've got four damage coming in. Now, a Hammerhead, it does have, you know, a redirect. It does have contain. Uh, it very easily can redirect the damage at no problem or and then contain to uh not take a critical face up card however uh we'll say that you know yes it is going to spend that redirect so yes four damage is still coming but it can also exhaust a copy of this card on another ship and if you do so you can move one damage and this when does the damage get moved it is in the resolve damage step portion of the of the uh when you're suffering damage so that's when you exhaust the card so you spend any and all defense tokens or other effects in the spend defense token step portion then as you are suffering damage that is when you then able to tap another card and you can move one damage so you can move one damage now when the hammerhead that the card that you exhaust on um suffers that damage you can put that one damage on any one of the four zones that you desire. You cannot take it straight to hull. Because you have to choose a zone that this damage goes to. So you choose either front, back, left, or right. You cannot choose uh, straight to hull. Now, for example, if you have already taken like a damage on the rear, and then you choose the rear hull zone to suffer that damage then it will go to hull. Okay, but you just if you have full shields, you just can't suffer a straight hull damage. You have to pick a zone where that damage is getting uh, put into. So we'll say here that this uh, hammerhead on the right is going to suffer that one damage in the rear. Now there's only three damage coming in on our initially attacked hammerhead in the middle, and he redirects to the left one damage, and then he suffers two damage to the front. 
Now he no longer needs to use his contain uh, because he's he the four damage one got shuttled off someplace else. The other three got absorbed by the shields, and he's good to rock and roll. Now remember, when this card is exhausted on any of your other hammerheads, uh, they cannot spend engineering points. Now this is really not a huge drawback, as you may think, because typically hammerheads uh, are not going to need engineering value for anything. They have so little shields that typically you can redirect and move things around. Uh, in some rare instances, maybe you'll have a, a repair token, you can move shields, but I mean, generally you can, uh, you know, this is not a very, very big drawback. And where this title can be so powerful is not only helping these hammerheads survive a shot that otherwise normally, you know, would put damage into their hole zones, uh, it helps spread that damage out a little bit. And it also makes them so much more survivable against squadrons. You know, a group of three or four hammerheads, even though squadrons may all be picking on one hammerhead, being able to shuttle off, the, shuttle off that damage to, to other hammerheads keeps all of your hammerheads alive much longer. Now, at some point, you know, depending on how many rounds that this has been on going on, all your shields are going to get sucked off all your hammerheads, and when anything does look at them and, and hits them, they explode because they no longer have any shields. But for that initial, you know, entrance into the fray, uh, this title is very good, in my opinion. So that is Task Force Antilles. There is no other crazy interactions or crazy things going on. Again, it's, uh, you know, you'd be at distance one to three of another hammerhead. When you are attacked right before you suffer damage is when you exhaust the card on a, a different hammerhead. That's not the defending hammerhead. You shuttle one damage over there. Again, it takes the damage on any of the one four hull zones. It has to be on shields first, but if you choose a zone that doesn't have any shields, then it can take it to hull. Um, and it is a damage. There's no critical effect uh, tied to that at all, I should point out. Uh, and again, just remember that a card that is exhausted on a hammerhead, if it activates, it cannot spend engineering points. And that's, you know, Task Force Antilles. So, but of course, if you feel like I got anything wrong or something's not correct, please be sure to please, uh, point it out to me. Let me know. I try to make sure I have the most correct information and, you know, to have this all out here for you guys. I'm getting so excited for Gen Con. We're getting only a month away. We're getting so close. I'm so excited to see you all. I'm going to be holding a meet and greet on uh, Thursday morning. You know, we probably will have a lot to talk about after the in-flight report that's done on the Wednesday. Um, just huge plans, huge things going on. I'm going to have a, a sway talk at some point in July. I'll sit down and we'll go over some stuff. But anyway, thanks for watching the video. And like always, I'll catch you guys next time.